So today I want to talk about the book balance in your SAGE 500 ERP. I wanted to discuss how you could troubleshoot the book balance when you're in the reconciled bank statements. Sometimes we get some calls saying that the book balance is incorrect and um, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. So the best way to kind of go about it is to first understand what the book balance really is. So the book balance is a system maintained balance. It's a calculation of the sum of all transactions that happened on or before the statement date. The statement date is going to be the date that you select right here. So generally, um, this statement date does get pre-populated with um, the next bank reconciliation. So it's uh, generally about 30 days or third, um, you know, one month later from the last time the bank was reconciled. So you want to kind of be aware of that and think about the book balance. Um, should the book balance match your GL account? Do you have transactions that may have posted way far out in the future and it's not being reflected by that book balance? So um, some things like that could cause the book balance to get kind of out of whack if there was a transaction that was entered incorrectly or um, even if you create a process bank transaction that had the wrong offset GL account. So stuff like that could cause the book balance to be wrong and um, you just may need to sometimes come in here and do a correction against it. So I'm going to show you what you need to consider when doing that. So first off, we've got our bank statement set to December 1st and um, the posting date should generally match. Now, this is the pre-populated date 30 days later from my last statement. So I may not actually want to use this date because once you use that statement date, you can't go back and use it again. So you need to be aware of what date you're going to use to adjust your book balance. Um, if you know that you still have a statement that's coming from the bank on December 1st that you, you're going to want to use to create your bank, um, your reconciled bank statement batch, then you probably don't want to use that date. You want to use either a day before or a day later in order to correct it. Um, I'm actually going to reserve the December 1st for the next one and I'm going to um, go back because the last statement was done sometime like November 30, um, it probably would have been November 1st. So I'm going to go back to November 2nd to use that date and I want my posting date to match. So I'm going to use November 2nd as my post date and as my bank's reconciliation statement date. So when December 1st comes around, I can use that. Now the other thing um, you want to keep into consideration or to take into consideration is your ending balance. So thinking about when you go into December 1st and you enter that bank statement or that bank reconciliation, which what is the starting balance or the beginning balance that you want to use? Well, you want to use your ending balance from your last reconciliation. So because this is an adjusting entry that we're going to be doing here, I want to make sure that my balance doesn't change for my next statement. So by doing that, the ending balance, because you can't modify the beginning balance, you can only kind of trick the system. So I'm going to make the ending balance the same as the beginning balance. Okay, so that way they're exactly the same. And I'm going to actually just make an, a note here that this is a just book balance. Then we're going to come into the reconcile 
reconciliation uh, or reconcile the account. And I am not going to clear anything because these transactions are probably going to show up on my next statement. So I'm going to actually want to clear those during my next statement and not during this statement. So to do the adjusting entry, you want to go ahead and click on the adjustments, which will open up a new bank transaction entry. So you need to figure out what the difference is. And actually, um, it is $50, and it does recognize that there is a variance there. So you just need to know, OK, is that $50 um, going to, do I need to increase my subledger, or do I need to ledger? So um, depending on which way you're going, you're going to do either a miscellaneous bank credit or a miscellaneous bank debit. So in my case, I need to increase the cash. So I'm going to use a miscellaneous bank debit. And then I'm going to take the next transaction number. And I want to actually match everything up, the date and all that. Okay, and then you enter your adjusting amount. Now, for the GL offset account, because I don't want to make any adjustment to my GL account, like if I look at my GL account right now, I know it's good. It matches. Everything's honky-dory. So I'm just going to use the same GL offset account as my cash account. That will give me that will give me a net effect of zero. So my cash account is this one right here. And I can just make a note saying adjust book balance. Save that. You'll see the line come down here. So basically, our offset account is our cash account. So we're going to actually see it hit the general ledger, but it's going to have a net effect of zero. All right. Now, when you come back to this reconcile bank statement screen, like I said before, you're not going to want to clear any transactions. But that adjusting entry will automatically clear. And that's fine. That's what you want it to do. Um, we'll also see a left-hand side variance now, um, which is fine because that's going to go away for our next statement. So we should be in good shape at this point to go ahead and post this. I do want to note that the adjustments um, is actually a great way to enter any bank fees that you see on your bank statement during the month that you wouldn't necessarily have entered through your process bank transactions or maybe any other transactions in the system. Uh, so that's a great way to, to do bank fees or even interest. So you would just enter those in here. And of course, you wouldn't want to have a net effect zero on your cash account. You'd probably want to put the correct offsetting account for either a bank fee or um, the interest. So once that's complete, we'll go ahead and post this. And again, just remember that ending balance should match. OK, we're going to post our $50. And if you look here, you'll see that the effect is 0 because we're only touching that one account. We have a debit and a credit. All right, so we can close this. Now let's go ahead and run this for the next statement date, just to kind of take a peek on what's going to happen. So we said December 1st. We're going to pick that same bank account. We can fix this because, like I said, it's trying to go like 30 days later, which was the second. So we're going to go back to the first, fix that up. And then here we would enter our actual ending balance from the statement, which is 284, 266. 
4.89. That would have been on the statement December 1st. Click the Reconcile Bank Accounts. Clear your transactions. And now you'll see that the variances on both sides are cleared back to zero. So your book balance is in good shape, your GL account is in good shape, and everything's cleared. So that's how you would go about fixing the book balance in your SAGE 500. I hope you found this video informative, and if you ever need assistance, you can always call RKL, and we'll be here to help you. Thank you.